Today we will discuss uh, the unit 7 that is groups. In that groups uh, we will discuss mainly on algebraic structures, some particular groups, subgroups, cyclic groups, order of an element of a group, cosine decomposition of a group and Lagrange's theorem and homomorphism and isomorphism. These are the contents of this uh, unit uh, 7. In this first we will discuss with uh, starts with the how the groups started. In this uh, we refer the some of the books related to groups discrete mathematical structures with application to computer science by J P Trimble and Manohar and topics in algebra by I N Hurstein discrete and combinatorial mathematics by Grimaldi and discrete mathematical structures for computer science Coleman and Bess. The group theory is a central branch of pure mathematics with many applications. The group axioms are very simple yet they give rise to a very rich theory. There are many non isomorphic examples. Groups govern many interesting structures in and out of mathematics including field extinctions, Galois theory, geometric objects and differential equation, Lie theory mainly and elementary particles the standard models. The study of groups split naturally into two often overlapping and approaches. The study of groups in the abstract, the study of groups as doing something doing group actions. In mathematics a group is a an algebraic structure consists of a set together with an operation that combines any two of its elements to form a third element. To qualify as a group the set and the operation must satisfies four condition called the group axioms namely closure, associativity, identity and invertibility. Many familiar mathematical structures such as number systems obey these axioms for example, the integers endowed with the addition operation form a group. However, the abstract formalization of a group axioms detached as it is from the concrete nature of any particular group and its operations allows with highly diverse mathematical origins in abstract algebra and beyond to be handled in a flexible way while retaining their essential structural aspects. The ubiquity of groups in numerous areas within and outside mathematics makes them a central organizing principle of contemporary mathematics. The concept of a group arose from the study of polynomial equation starting with Galois in the 1830s after contribution from other fields such as number theory and geometry the group notion was generalized and firmly established around 1870. Modern group theory a very active mathematical discipline studies groups in their own right. To explore groups mathematicians have devised various notions to break groups into smaller better understandable pieces such as subgroups, quotient groups and simple groups. In addition to their abstract properties, group theorists also study the different ways in which a group can be expressed concretely its group representations both from a theoretical and a computational point of view. A particular rich theory has been developed for finite groups which culminated with the monumental classification of finite simple groups announced in 1983. Since the mid 80s the geometric group theory which studies finitely generated groups as geometric objects has become a particularly active area in group theory. A group is a set G together with an operations dot called the law of G that combines any two elements A and B to form another element. 
denoted a dot b r a star b r a b this that are the notations to qualify as a group the set and operation g dot must satisfies four requirements known as the group axioms first one is closure closure means if any two if you take for any two elements in g the result of the operation any operation dot may be addition subtraction multiplication or division that is a dot b is also in g associativity that is associative to each other means if you take any three elements for a b c in g a dot b dot c equals a dot of b dot c that is associative identity element there exists an element in e in g such that for every element a in g the equation e dot a or a dot e must be equal to a holds the identity element of a of a group g is often written as 1 or 1g sometimes a notion inherited from the multiplicative identity in mass element for each a in g there exists an element b in g such that if a dot b equals b dot a then a dot b equals b dot a that must be e means a is the inverse of b and b is a inverse of a one of the most familiar groups is the set of integers which consists of the numbers you know that plus or minus 1 2 3 4 etc with zero that is the integers the following properties of integers additions serve as a model for the abstract group axioms given in the definition below for any two integers a and b the sum you can take any two integers means if you take 2 plus 3 you get 5 that is also an integer that is sum of a plus b is also an integer thus adding two integers never yields some other type of a number such as a fraction this property is known as closure under addition for integers a b c if you take 2 3 and 5 sum of two integers is again an integer 2 plus 3 is same as 5 plus 2 plus 3 is also equal to 3 plus 2 then if you add three elements 2 plus 3 plus 4 again that can also be added as 2 plus 3 plus 4 expression in words adding a to b first and then adding the result to c gives the same final result as adding to a to the sum of b and c a property this property is known as associativity if a is any integer then 0 plus a. If you add 0 to a, 0 plus a, or a plus 0, you get a. Here, 0 is called the identity element of addition, because adding it to any integer return to the same integer. That is, again you get an integer. That's why 0 is known as the universal identity general. For every integer a, there is an integer b such that a plus b is equal to b plus a you get zero you know that in the integers positive 1 2 3 4 4 etc will be there and negative it also numbers will be there in the integer positive integers and as well as negative integer if one is there means minus one is also present in the integer similarly then the integer the b is called the inverse element of the integer a that is denoted by minus a now we will discuss some of the algebraic structure in that algebraic structures binary and n array of operations next we will discuss algebraic structures of that and semi groups and monoids groups then cyclic groups quasar decomposition and finally we discuss some lagrange's theorem homomorphism as well as isomorphism these are the contents we will discuss in the structures first we will start with the binary and n array operations let s be a non empty set a function from s cross s to s sorry 
f cross s to s is called a binary operation. This function assigns to every ordered pair a unique element of s. Order of this function is 2. In general, for any positive integer n, a function from s cross s cross etc. s tends to s is called an n array operation. That is binary, this is n array operation. Some of the examples related to binary operations set of all integers under addition that is 2 plus 3, set of all integers under subtraction that is 6 minus 3 or 4 minus 3 etcetera and z star that is multiplication integers under multiplication and real numbers under addition and multiplication as well and that is power set and union A union B and some and also the intersection operations also there then properties of binary operations. Let F be a set with the binary operation star. Let A B C belongs to S yes, then star on S yes is commutative commute with each other means if you add 2 plus 3 that is same as 3 plus 2 that is a star b equals b star a that is commute and associative if a star b star c that operation behaves a binary operations a star b star c and idempotent idempotent means a star a must be equal. if you oper operate star then you get same element that is idempotent let delta be in another operator defined on s yes, then star dis distributes over dot star if a star of b delta c equals a star b delta of a star c and a delta of b star c equals a delta of b star of a delta c these are the some of the operations and also you know the multiplication table or operational table. This is some addition if you take first 5 integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 then that can also be written as 1, 2, 3 in row as well as column here. Then 1 plus if it is an addition is an operator then 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3, similarly 1 plus 3 is 4, 1 plus 4 is 5, 1 plus 5 is 6. Then if you add 2, you get that one, if you add 3, you get that one, if you 4 operate to other numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we get this one, similarly 5, that is a 5 cross 5 table, set 5. And similarly in the multiplication, if you take 1, 1 into 1 is 1, 1 into 2 is 2, then 1 into 3 is 3 and 1 into 4 is 4 and 1 into 5 is equal to 5. Similarly, if you take 2, 2 into 1 is 2, 2 into 2 is 4, 2 into 3 is 6 and 2 into 4 is 8 and 2 into 5 is 10. Similarly, we can operate 3 and 4 and 5 we get this one 5 into 1 is 5, 5 into 2 is 10 and 5 into 3 then we can make it in a tabular form. Next in the operation table check if star defined as the follows is a commutative and associative. Here star is defined as a1, a2, a3, a4 are the elements similarly here this is the one table is given we can check out is it a commutative. What is commutative? Commutative property is a star b equals b star a. Here in the first table if you take a 1 star of in another one is if you take a 2 or I, I will take a 3 here this is the operation a 1 operate to a 3 you get a 2. Similarly here this is b star a 3 star of a 1 means here a 3 star of a 1 what is that that is a 3. 
these two are not equal, then we say that it is not commutative. Similarly, that is associative, it is not commutative and also A star B star C equals A star of B star C. Here, we taken as A 1 star of A 3 star of A 4 equals A 1 star of A 3 star of A 4. If you take A 1 star A 1 of A 3, A 1 of A 3 is A 2, A 2 star of A 4, then here A 2 star of A 2 star of A 4 you get A 3. But here A 3 star first we can operate this that is A 1 star of A 3 star A 4, A 3 star here this is A 3 star of A 4 you get A 2, then A 1 into A 3, A 1 into A 2 you get A 3. Here it satisfies associative, but it is not the committed and also check out the other elements also if it is associative or commutative. Check whether f is a commutative and this function is associative. Here let a is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and f is a mapping from a star a to a defined as f of a comma b if you take any two elements that that element must be in terms of minimum of a comma b means if you take any two elements means 2 and 5 if you take then the value must be that is minimum. Then you can make a table for this and check out. Similarly, let f is a mapping from z cross z to integers to integer is defined as f of a comma b equals a plus b plus a b. We will discuss this problem in later. Now, we go to algebraic structures. Let S be a non-empty set with n array operation star defined on it. Then the system S star is called the an algebraic system or an algebra. Since n array operations define a structure on the element of S, we call S star is an algebraic structure. Some of the examples of this algebraic structure S star that is integers under addition, multiplication and power set P of S union and intersection and real numbers addition and multiplication and yes, S is a function from real number into real number and our addition and multiplication that is a dot b a comma b plus c comma d is equal to a c comma b plus d and multiplication a comma b into c comma d is equal to a into c comma b into d. These are the operations will be for satisfies the algebraic structures and s is a set and and these two operation conjunction and disjunction where s is an element of 0 and 1 that is in a logic forms these are some of the examples of algebraic structures. Identity element of s star let s star be an algebraic structure then an element even in s is called an left identity element with respect to star if e 1 star a equals a for all a belongs to s. Yes. Similarly, an element e 2 in s yes in the set is called a right identity element with respect to a star operation if a star e 1 equals a for all a belongs to s. Yes. Here we note that the left and right identities that is e 1 star a equals a and a star e 2 equals a then we get because left and right identity with respect to star are identical and unique. So, that 
E 1 equals E 2 equals E is called an identity element of S. Left and identity, right identities are equal. These are the one of the theorems related to identities. Let S star be an algebraic structure and let E 1 and E 2 be the left and right identities with respect to a star, then E 1, E L left and E R is the right identities that must be equal. Since E 1 is the left identity, you get E L plus star A equals A for all A belongs to S. So, E L star E R equals E R. If you take both identities, but here we are taken left identity, then you get E R. Next, E R is the right identity, then you get A star E L equals A for all A belongs to S. This E R, sorry, this E R. Then, so E L star E R equals E L, then from 1 and 2 we get E L equals E R. Similarly, we can prove that inverse element of S star means here identity element is unique. That is the theorem tells that in any algebraic structure identity element must be unique. Similarly, in the inverse element of S star, let S star be an algebraic structure and let E be an identity element of S. An element A in S is said to be left invertible. If you take left invertible and right invertible with respect to star, if there exists an element B in S such that A B star A equals E, then B is called the left inverse of A. Similarly, an element A in S is said to be an right invertible with respect to star. If there exists an element C in S such that A star C equals E and C is called the right inverse of A. So, note that if both left and right invertible, then we say that A is the invertible. If star is associative, then A is inverse, then the inverse of A if exists is unique and is denoted by A inverse, A to the power of minus 1. Le left and right inverses are equal. This theorem tells the inverses are also equal. Let S star be an algebraic structure with an identity E. If an element A of S is invertible, then the left and right inverses are identical and unique. Suppose, we can take it as let x 1 and x 2 are the left and right inverses of A, that is x 1 star A equals E, A star x 1 equals E. Now, x 1 can be written as x 1 star of E, then this E can be written as A star x 1, then x 1 star A because associativity already obtained, then x 1 star A star of x r, right end it, then this is E star x r, therefore, that is x r, means x l equals x r means left and right inverses must be equal. So, that left and right inverses of A are identical. Now, we show that uniqueness. To show that the inverse of A is unique, let us assume that x and y are two inverses of A. Then, if y equals y star E, y can be written as A star x. Then, here use associativity y star A star of x. Then, y star A is also E because it is inverse, then you get x means y is equal to x means here inverse of A is unique. Thus, the two inverses are equal 
that is inverse of a is unique and we denoted it as a to the power of minus 1. Next after that the algebraic structure we define semi group. An algebraic system S star in which the operator star is associative is called a semi group means why usually some of them are telling in semi group means it satisfies two, two condition one of them is closure another one is associative. But algebraic system itself satisfies the closure condition means there is, if you satisfies associative that is a star of p star of c equals a star of b star c then it is a semi group. If star is commutative then s star is called the commutative or abelian semi group means if it satisfies another condition a star b equals b star a then that is known as abelian semi group. These are some of the examples set of all integers under addition, real number under multiplication that is power set of S union is also or the commutative abelian commutative semi group or abelian semi groups. Next monoid let S star be a semi group means it is already satisfies the two condition closure and as well as associativity. If S contains an identity element with respect to star then S star is called the monoid means three condition any three condition is satisfied by any set with an operation that is closure associativity and identity then it is known as monoid. Z plus E identity 0 or real numbers under multiplication E equals real number 1 and P of S the power set of union E equals empty set and P of S equals intersection E is equal to set itself then these are all known as monoid. Now we define sub semi group and sub monoid. Let S star be a semi group and let T be a subset of S then T star is a called a sub semi group of S star. If you take another small element that is set S star if T closer under operation star then we say that sub semi group. Similarly let S star be a monoid and let T be a subset of S then T star is called a sub monoid of S star if T is closer under the operation star and E belongs to T identity element. Now, now we will discuss the group. In algebraic system G star is called a group under the operation star if the following condition holds means it is already closed because in the algebraic system itself a closed operation. The second operation is because some of them are telling four laws here usually if the three laws are satisfied then we say that it is a group that is star is associative on G. G contains an identity element E with respect to star. Every element of A in G has an inverse with respect to star. So, a group G is a monoid in which every element is invertible means any monoid if having a invertibility then that is known as a group. Some of the examples of a group Z and set of all integers under addition E is equal to 0 A inverse is equal to minus A I already mentioned and also I gave example in my discussion and Z under multiplication E is equal to 1 is not a group. R real numbers under multiplication E equals 1 is identity and A inverse is equal to 
upon by A real numbers. P of S the power set union and E is equal to empty set and inverse become A dash and P of S intersection is also a group E is S and A inverse is equal to A dash and matrix M n cross n square matrix under multiplication E is equal to identity element M inverse is the inverse of the matrix M and also you know that square roots of unity under multiplication means 1 minus 1 you know that uh, square roots of unity under multiplication 1 minus 1 and cube roots of unity 1 omega omega square you know that the relation 1 plus omega plus omega square equals 0 and fourth roots of unity that is fourth roots of unity is 1 minus 1 i this is not 1 i minus i the set of all fourth roots of unity then w plus into is a commutative group with identity 1 means abelian group. Some of the examples of a commutative group the integers and the addition are a commutative group. The positive real numbers and the multiplication are a commutative group. The set of complex number any of operation is in the form of complex number means a plus i b form. You know that the set of all complex number is c is equal to set of all a plus i b such that a and b belongs to real number i is equal to root of minus 1 this is the set of all complex number this is also without 0 and a multiplication or a commutative group and real and complex invertible matrices under multiplication are non commutative group and rotation of matrices under multiplication or a non commutative group except in 2D when they are commutative. Subgroup let G star be a group and let H be a subset of G then H star is called a subgroup of G star if it satisfies because group means it satisfies the four condition but in subgroup H is a closed under operation star identity element E of G belongs to H for all A in H A inverse is in H means set of all integers is a subgroup of real numbers under addition and also fourth roots of unity sorry square roots of unity is a subgroup of fourth roots of unity means here square roots of unity is 1 and minus 1 fourth roots of unity is 1 minus 1 i and minus i this is fourth roots of unity here 1 1 is the identity element and minus 1 some of the subset this is the first is it is a subset then operation is multiplication in the both the sides then here identity element is 1 here also identity element is 1 then inverse because it is both as self inverse minus 1 into minus 1 you get 1 because the square roots of unity is also forms a group then we say that it is a subgroup this is a group this is a subgroup z under multiplication is not a subgroup of real numbers under multiplication. There are some types of groups will be there G star be a group if star is a commutative then G is called an abelian group. If mod G means order order of G is equal to number of elements present in that set then we say that it is the finite group of order N. Here the order of this element this set is 4 will be there here order is 2 finite. If G is not finite then it is called an infinite group 
means set of all integers, set of all real complex numbers are all infinite group. Identity element in a group is unique. Suppose that E 1 and E 2 are two identity elements of G star, since E 1 is the identity for every A in G, we get A star E 1 equals E 1 star A that is equal to A. Taking if A is equal to E 2, we get E 2 star E 1 then E 1 star E 2 is equal to E 2, because E 2 is the that element. Similarly, if E 2 is also an identity element in a similar argument E 1 star E 2 equals E 2 star E 1 you get E 1. If you multiply with any element to identity you get that element only not identity. So, from 1 and 2 if you observe we get E 1 and E 2 are same. This means that the identity in G group is also unique. The same property is satisfied in a algebraic structure. The inverse of every element in a group is also unique. The same condition, the definition we can use the inverse. Inverse definition, suppose that E is an identity element of the group G star let A belongs to in the element G. Suppose that A 1 and A 2 be inverses of A as A 1 is an inverse of A, we get A 1 star A equals A star A 1 means element and its inverse we get an identity element that one E. Similarly, A 2 star A equals A star A 2 that become E that is 1 and 2. From these two, A 1 can be rewritten as E star A 1. Next, here E can be replaced to here A 2 star A. Next, A 2 star, you can use a star operates associativity, then this become A 2 star of A star A 1. Here, A star A 1 equals E then A star E equals what is A star E 2 that is A 2 only. Therefore, A 1 is equal to A 2 the inverses of A are the same. So, inverses of every element of that A in G use unique. Some other properties are of a group. From the uniqueness of identity and inverse of G we can prove that the following properties for elements of G. A inverse of whole inverse is equal to A. Means, if A inverse, if you take A inverse is an inverse of A, means here A inverse whole inverse is an inverse of A inverse. A inverse is an inverse of A. Similarly, A is the inverse of A inverse that is the element. If, if you take B, B is an inverse of A, then A is an inverse of B. Then what happens here? A inverse whole inverse is an inverse of A inverse means what happens? These two A inverse because definition A inverse star A equals E that is A, A star A inverse. Similarly, here a inverse whole inverse star of A inverse equals here A inverse star of A inverse the whole inverse. From these two that is also E from these two equation 1 and 2 if we use A inverse star of A equals A inverse star of A inverse whole inverse means sorry yeah then this become what happens A inverse A inverse become cancelled by left cancellation law you get A equals A inverse the whole inverse. If you start with this the definition here also you can use the definition from 1 and 2 you get A is equal to A inverse the whole inverse. Similarly, we can prove that A B the whole inverse is equal to B inverse into A inverse. 
same uh, projection here A inverse because you know that inverses and identities are unique then we can apply to definition basic definition we get this result means if you take AB the whole inverse AB is the sorry, here if you need the definition AB the whole inverse equals B inverse into A inverse here AB the whole inverse is an inverse of A B inverse of A B then A B the whole inverse can be written as here whole inverse star A B is equal to E. Then if you take A B the whole inverse can be written as if you multiply you get A B A B inverse star A B equals E using this condition and also B inverse is the inverse of B then we can apply the both the condition left and right cancellation la we get the desired result for that and x a is equal to x b implies a is equal to b because x, there is a one condition here x is not equal to 0 or because x is an element of g then x inverse must be there means uh, if you multiply or operate x inverse on both the sides means here I will do give you the example for operator that is x a equals x b then we are showing here a equals b here x belongs to g means because it is already a group then its inverse must be present in the group that is x inverse belongs to g x inverse belongs to g means you can operate here multiply both the multiply or operate operation because here multiplication is there in between that is why I put it as multiplication is an operator multiply both the sides to x inverse then x inverse of x a equals x inverse of x b then here associativity condition is there then this can be written as x inverse of a x into a here also x inverse of a x into b associative condition then by you know that x and x inverse an element and its inverse become identity e a equals e into b identity and identity la e star a is equal to a then a equals b this is left cancellation la similarly we can do the right cancellation law also here a x is equal to b x implies a equals b that is right cancellation next if a x equals b has a unique solution x is equal to a inverse b exactly same manner here a x equals b here x is an element present here means what happens here a present a belongs to g means definitely because it is a group then its inverse is also belongs to g then multiply both the sides by inverse a inverse of a of x equals a inverse of b then here a into a inverse is equal to e e into x then a inverse into b therefore x equals a inverse into b means this is the unique solution unique solution means if you also make it as we have two solutions x1 and x2 then that must be equal we already shown too many examples in algebraic structure as well as in this groups next y a is equal to b has a unique solution same thing similar manner we can get it y is equal to b times a inverse some of the problems related to group let g be a set of all non zero real numbers and let a star b is equal to a b by 2 show that g star is an abelian group here first what is the first aim 
here g is a non-zero real numbers and let a star b the operator is defined as a star b equals a b by 2 is that this is the function here we want to show that what is to show here we want to show that g star is a group not only group it is abelian group abelian group means it satisfies the four conditions first one is closure next one is associative next you can find the identity then you can show the inverse next it is commutative or abelian these are the five properties satisfied by this operation then we say that it is a abelian group here we can start with first the closure condition the operator means what is the operator here a b by 2 the multiplication and division will be there the operation itself forms a closure condition means sum of product of two real number is again a real number therefore it satisfies the closure condition means a comma b belongs to g implies a star b belongs to g means here that is a b by 2 is the that is also belongs to g because if you take two elements that is also present in the group the star operated then this is closure then associativity what is associative a star b star of c equals a star of b star c here first we operate these two first element a star b can be written as here a b by 2 this can be written as a b by 2 then operator star equals here a star of here b star c can be written as here b into c divided by 2 then again here star operated then this become a b c divided by 2 into 2 that become 4 or you can write if you want 1 by 2 times a b c divided by 2 then this is same as a into b c divided by 2 into 1 by 2 because constant i taken common then this is same as a b c by 4 equals a b c by 4 means here it satisfies the associative condition what is next we can find the identity what is identity definition if a star e equals a it's the identity definition here a star e means here a e by 2 equals a a e, a e by 2 is equal to a means here by right cancellation law we can find a a become cancel we get e is equal to 2 here e r is, this is also real number therefore e is equal to 2 is the identity element of this g next we can find the inverse what is the inverse inverse definition this is identity then it is inverse a star a star b equals or, or if you take a star a inverse equals e means here this problem a star a inverse is equal to e here a into a operator is a into b divided by 2 here a into a inverse divided by 2 in this problem identity element is equal to 2 therefore this implies here a inverse is equal to 2 into 2 is equal to 4 divided by a in this problem all, all the inverses in the form of a inverse is equal to 4 by a the element 4 times 4 divided by 1 by a this is also a real number a inverse is equal to 4 by a that is also belongs to r therefore this operator a star b forms an group now we want to show that it is a commutative 
Commutative means A star B, this is the only thing is remaining that is B star A. Here A star B is equal to AB by 2, then this is also, this cannot because multiplication product, here first we will start with this AB by 2, then multiplication is a commutative property, then BA divided by 2, this is same as B star of A. Hence, this problem satisfy this A star B is equal to A B by 2 forms a, it satisfies all the properties of a group then it is known as G star is an abelian group. Thank you. Thank you.